Hello friends, the strawberries have arrived at Strawberry Farm. Welcome friends. I hope you are having a wonderful day. So as you all saw in the last episode, I managed to finally get my strawberry seeds and we got so many more than I was actually expecting. I'm like, I got like 60, which I'm like really happy about. So strawberry farms is finally a reality and we're going to finally be getting our like jams and probably not wine yet because I don't have even the recipe to make a keg. Anyway, whatever. We're, we're here. We're making strawberries. Finally, at the in this episode, we will have strawberries. Now that I've got the strawberries cooking, I think the next thing I want to start working on is clearing out one of the four corners of the farm so I can get some chickadees. I like absolutely love having a lot of farm animals in Stardew. They're so cute. They're also very profitable. And it's such an adorable and cozy part of the game. I just, I can't wait to have some little chickens running around the farm. Coops can be pricey, so I'm probably gonna need to do a lot more farming and fishing today if I want to get one in this episode. But before we get into all that, I think you know what time it is. It's cookie time, of course. Today's cookie is iced oatmeal cookies. Oh my God. So I have to be honest, one of the benefits of doing uh, cookie time and this channel is that Pink and I get to eat all of the cookies. And we've been having a great time with that. And uh, this is one of my favorite cookies and Pink. So we were like, we should get that as the next cookie so we can eat these all week. So. Uh, yeah, so that's why this is the cookie, and there's one for you too, friend. All right, friends, now that we've had a little snack, it's time to get to work on the farm. All right, another morning on the farm. Let's check the weather report. Sunny tomorrow, and the queen of sauce. Coleslaw. Cool. I am coleslaw indifferent. Okay. Oh, right. Back to the farm. Oh, look how pretty everything is. Okay. So you might have noticed it looks a little bit different. Um, I added another mod. Um, don't worry. This isn't going to be a thing that I'm going to regularly be doing. I'm going to be keeping the mod pack the same. So you may have noticed that the fences in town have these like really cute flowers on them. And I thought that that would translate over to my farm. But then when I put up my fence in the last episode, I discovered that it didn't. So I had to add a mod for that because I got to have flower fences. Come on. You know, it's of course I, I, the, I love flowers. So, so we added this and I'll add it to the list, to the mod list in the description. And now everything looks so cute. However, I think I really need to replace these um, signs because they don't match anymore. Um, let's see if the stone ones match better. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Yeah, yeah, that matches much better with the darker wood. Great. Yay! Okay, that looks really cute again. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, yeah, so now I need to water all these crops and finish putting my strawberry seeds in the ground. Probably today I want to try and earn some, oops, um, earn some more money so we can get even more crops because I had a lot of things to buy. We got to get the coop and I am so ready to upgrade my backpack. Oh my God. Okay, let's put these strawberries in. Oh, that. That's it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, we didn't have to build an another strawberry patch. In fact, it's not quite enough, but we'll fill it out with some other seeds soon enough. And let's water everything. Okay, I'm just going to eat these leeks because I really want to do some fishing today and because uh, we need money for various projects. Oh, it looks like a little pineapple on my head. All right, let's put some water in Peach's bowl. There you go. There she is! Peach 
gorgeous. Hello. 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 I love you too. Oh. Oh, I can't wait to get my mushroom snacks. Hopefully that'll open up soon. Head down to our favorite fishing spot. Okay, so I decided to bring this little chest with me to my fishing spot and just leave it down here so that I don't have to throw anything out, but I will be able to get a bunch of fish for a little while and that way I can only bring like the really high value fish back. Although I don't really know what those are, but I'm leaving a little chest down here. That's what I'm saying. Night fishing. I love fishing at night in video games. I do it a lot in Minecraft. I just find it really peaceful. It's like relaxing. It's like night fishing. I don't know. Oh, hello, Abigail. You know what? I'm going to say hi to her. Abigail. Hello. Hello. Hi. I can relate to that. Are you in college or I hope you're in college. What college? Where's there a college? I have so many questions about this, this conversation I just had with Abigail. Maybe she's homeschooled, but are you like putting off your homework all week for, can you even homeschool college? I'm really confused. But okay. All right, I think that's the last fish for the night. Let's head home. Oh, peaches. All right, I leveled up. I got level three foraging and I got tapper recipes. Oh my God, I absolutely need to do that like right away because I want to be able to make strawberry jam and we need tappers for that. Cool. Got a little money from fishing. So I think I'll buy a few more parsnips maybe <laughs> or potatoes or something from uh, Pierre today. Lots of pollen tomorrow. Oh God, that sounds awful. I hate that. <gasps> well, I know what we're doing today. It's salmon berry season. I thought that was until the end of the month. Fantastic. Let's go get some salmon berries. That's definitely today's project. Uh, hey, hey, no. Oh, we lost a strawberry to the crows. Well, maybe I should put a scarecrow there. <laughs> I think that's probably in the spot. I think that's probably a good idea. All right. Hmm. Okay. I have nowhere near enough wood to craft a scarecrow, so... I think I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, you know what? I don't think this one is doing me any good. I'm just gonna move it over to the strawberries. There we go. It almost covers the whole area. Good enough. Oh, it actually looks so cute in there, doesn't it? I like it. All right, let's water these strawberries. So let's see what the tapper recipe is because that's like a big priority right now is I really want to get tappers. 40 wood, okay, and two copper bars. So that's 10 copper bar for every tapper. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna be doing some mining. Um, but first, let's go to Pierre's. The salmon berries, oh my God, here they are. Yes. Yes, let's get that foraging score up. Oh, so Leah wants to know, why did I become a farmer? I want to make tons of money. I feel like that's not a reason many people become a farmer. It's more real than living in the city. <laughs> to follow in grandpa's footsteps, I wanted to escape my old life. These are interesting choices. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Interesting, Leah. Let's see if she likes salmon berries. Yay! She liked it. Okay. What can we get with $500? Well, 
let's get some kale seeds. Seven kale seeds, okay. I know all the salmon berry spots because I am, I would call myself an aggressive forager. I very serious about it. Um, it was really funny when I was playing through with pink, I was just <laughs> every time that the, like it was salmon berry season or um, my brain is fritzing on what the other berry is, but whenever it was berry time, I would just be like, <laughs> I would be screaming at them. I'd be like, we gotta get the berries. Come on, what are you doing? Why are you watering our crops? It's it's berry time, we gotta go. <laughs> they got, they started to get kind of annoyed with me and are just like, let, let me live my life on the farm. You go get your berries. You, I, let me do what I wanna do. And I was like, okay, that's valid. But it's just so convenient. You have these nice little berries and you just have to go around and collect them and that's it. And now I don't have to worry about if I have enough food to go to the mines today and if I'm gonna, you know, run out of energy. I don't have to worry anymore. Oh, I can, the Adventurer's Guild is open now. I can go say hello. <gasps> She's back. Yes, I am. Although I prefer they, them pronouns, but what can we do? Okay. Hmm. Well, I can't afford any of this, but I will be back. I really like the monster goal thing, but I have not ever made it very far, you know, it, very far on it. I always think I'm like, oh, a thousand slimes. That's not that much. It is so many. I think I made it like 350 in the last game I played and I, I thought I was almost there. And then I went and checked and it was like 350. I was like, what? Okay, I'm gonna put my sad seven little kale seeds uh, that I got at Pierre's in here with the strawberries. I hope they don't mind. And get back out to get more salmon berries. Serious business, you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got the torch on my head again because it is nighttime. It's a luck, you guys. It's a luck. Well, we had a pretty good salmon berry haul, and I think I'm going to end the night with a little bit more night fishing. I think I'm going to put my torch over there so it's like a little bit of a spot. Should I maybe convert this into like an aesthetic fishing spot? I feel like that would be really cute. I hope they don't mind if I do that outside of their house. <laughs> yeah, somebody's just like right outside your house, just like sets up a whole little fishing spot with decor and a little bench and everything. Maybe they'll like it. Maybe they'll go fishing there too. This is also kind of a fun spot because a lot of people seem to walk past it. So I feel like once I have my you know gifts for people it'll be great because i can just easily you know start giving them stuff Ooh, i got some coal that's fun okay it is very late um i gotta run back to the house and get these fish in Ooh, no time to put my coal in the chest i gotta go to bed it's 150 <laughs> Still no rain. So I just got back from salmon berry collecting and now I'm going to start clearing out the one of the corners of my four corners farm because I want to build a chicken coop in here. I think this, I'm just gonna make this whole like corner is gonna be the animal area and it's gonna be really cute and aesthetic and I can't wait for how great it's gonna look. So for those of you who maybe haven't played Stardew before, you might not, you might be looking at this and going, 
why aren't you clearing out this tree stump? Well, uh, I actually can't yet. I have to upgrade my tools to be able to clear out the large, the hardwood large tree stumps, as well as the larger uh, pieces of stone. Okay, well, it's the end of the night. It's almost 2 a.m., so let's run into bed. Oh, good night, peaches. Oh, level two mining. I think I should do some mining today, actually, because I really want to start making some tappers. So that's probably what I'm going to do. But first, we got to water everything because this is basically a watering game. <sighs> Another sunny day tomorrow, unfortunately, <laughs> which means lots of watering for me. Oh, I, my watering can't in here. Okay. Ooh, the strawberries are getting bigger. Oh, my God, they're going to be so cute. Okay, everything's watered, so now I'm gonna head up to the mines. Let's see if we can get some copper so we can start making tappers. I realized I have way too much stuff. Okay, so I can take that out and that. I don't think I'm gonna need a fishing pole. I hope not. I'll just bring my salmon berries and I'll just eat this horseradish. Okay, now I'm off to the mines now that I cleared out my backpack. And let's hope I don't need to scythe or hoe anything while I'm there. <laughs> Pit stop for salmon berries. I can't help myself. I know I said I was going to mines, but the, it's I just I just gotta get a few more salmon berries and then and then I'll go. Look how pretty the mine is. <laughs> like they even I love this mod even made the mine entrance like have these little pink flowers and this vines. I love it. It's so pretty. Oh shoot, I forgot you do need the scythe in the mines. Okay, well, oh well. Oh, I always really like these little railroad things because they always end at a little mine cart full of coal. Yay. Ta-da. And often also take you to the exit, which is really convenient. Ooh, copper, yay. Lots of copper. Oh no, oh no. It's the bugs. I hate the bugs. Oh no. Okay, okay. So it is my personal belief that uh, this is actually one of the hardest things in the game. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. The bugs at like 15 through 25, when you only have like the little rusty sword that Marlin gave you, it's like one of the hardest, like the combat, all of the rest of the combat, at least in this mine, is like, it's fine. It's nowhere near as hard as the beginning combat It is. It's crazy to me how hard it is. Anyway, I ran away from the bugs in fear, and <laughs> I have no regrets. And I am now just at lower levels in the mines because I'm just here to get copper. So I can make some nice tappers and have some strawberry jam. Nobody needs that kind of drama in their life right now, at least I don't. Ooh, an amethyst. A gift for Emily. <gasps> Is that a sword? Oh my god, I just got... Is that... <gasps> it's a carving knife. It does less damage than the sword that I have. Okay, great. Well... Okay, pretty good day at the mines. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, I have 30 copper, which is enough for a few tappers. So that's really exciting. So I'm going to go and put that. I also got some coal so I can even actually make it, which is great. So I'm going to go put that in the furnace at back at the house before I go to bed. Well, I got a little more time and a little more energy. So I think I'm going to keep on working on with just this last hour. I have enough to at least keep working on clearing out this area because we are not done yet. Okay, my energy is on the floor. I have nothing left. Ooh, but I did get my first copper bar. Yay. Okay, 
So now let's make another one. Hello friends. Thank you for watching my videos. As a small creator, it means so much to me when people support my channel. One of the most fun ways to do this is by buying my merch. As you can tell, I love fashion and aesthetics. So I designed everything in the shop myself to be cute and fun and something I'd actually want to wear. I've got some of the merch myself and it's honestly such good quality and I can't recommend it enough. Some of my favorite items are the super cozy hoodies and these awesome masks. You can also support me and my bisexual iced coffee addiction directly with buy me a coffee. Links are in the description. And of course, a great way to help the channel is liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and just watching my videos. Thanks again, friends. Now back to the show. Another day in Stardew Valley. Oh, hey, these are all came in. Fabulous. That means I don't have to water them anymore. Plus, these horseradishes will actually just be a great snack. Okay. Okay. I think it is time to make a snack chest. That is what this one will be. We now finally have the chests. We have our second storage chests and the organizing has officially begun. Yes, I made a tapper. Now, one of the problems is I don't actually know which trees these are because of the mod. So um, we'll see, we'll find out. I'm gonna put it on this tree because it's right here. So we'll see what kind of tree it is. I have a little more energy today because I didn't have to water as much because those crops came in and I also have some great snacks so <laughs> I think I'm gonna eat this wild horseradish and um do a little bit more fishing and bring this amethyst to my darling Emily who loves crystals I also love crystals she also loves fashion like I feel like we have a lot in common I wonder what hair dye brand she uses how are you, Mayor Lewis? Dink, Emily leaves for work at like two, so she's probably in her house. Let's drop these off in my chest and let's see if she's home. She is. Hello, a crystal for you. <gasps> Yay. I'm glad you like it, Emily. Elliot, hello. I am well, Elliot, thank you. Let's see if Elliot likes salmon berries. Oh no. Okay, sorry, Elliot. No, I won't give you a salmon berry again. Peaches, what are you up to today? Oh, looking adorable as always. I'm heading down to my little pond on my property to see if I can get any good fishing here. Joja Cola. Okay. I should probably go back to my fishing spot, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think this is our last fish of the night. Uh, uh-oh. Yes! Oh, it's algae. Well. Oh, well. Running home as usual. Trying to get my fish in before 2 a.m. Oh boy. Oh, it's 1.40. Okay. Okay. Whew. Can I? Oh. Uh-oh. 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 It's 1.50. Oh no. <laughs> I passed out in my front yard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, but I made $740, so I'm happy about that. Okay, weather report. More pollen. Okay, so. Dr. Harvey billed me $22 for passing out in my front yard last night. Oh my god, the strawberries are looking so big. They're, go they're gonna be so cute. Oh my god, I can't wait.
Nothing to forage today. Ooh, there's a quest. Ooh. Might do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna go potato seeds with this money and I guess a single parsnip. Wait, no, two parsnips. Ha, two parsnips. Cool. Um, and I think I wanna go back to the house and like make another little like planter area, like the one that I've uh, had the strawberries in because I think it's just so cute and I kind of just want to do the whole farm that way. And I'm going to put little pathways at, between them and stuff and decor when I can afford it, when I have the stuff, which I don't have yet. But I think I'll just like put it, yeah, like right over here. That'll be super cute because this mess it's not hot. It's not the look, you guys. I don't like this. I want to have cute little things like this. This is the look. Oh, it's so pretty when it comes in with the flowers on it. I love it. Boy, I can I can see already I'm going to be using all of my materials on purely aesthetic projects. It may surprise you to know that this is a problem that I have with video games. Nope, that's too far. Okay. Oh no, I'm out of wood. Okay. Well, I guess we're cutting down more trees so we can finish this project. God, I forgot how much of this game is cutting down trees. Like, besides watering, I feel like that's like the main other activity we <laughs> do is just so much cutting down trees. I feel like, especially when you know you have all those like early projects you need like the barn and the chicken coop and all of the silos and all this stuff there's a, I always get to this point where I've like cut down every single tree in the entire town <laughs> I really appreciate that the town doesn't like get upset at me for like deforesting but of course it's a magic town where the trees go grow back in a few days so I guess that's why they're not bothered by it. Some more wood, some more fences, and hopefully we'll have enough. There we go. I feel like I also want to put, let's see how this gate looks, because I'm thinking about putting a gate back here. Yeah, that's cute. So I don't have, so I can walk through that way if I want to. And of course we need two more signs. Much better, much, much better. Yay. Oh, um, I guess I'll just put a salmon berry on this cause I don't know, it's cute and I have it in my inventory. <laughs> I'll put a parsnip on there once, once I've made some. All right, only a few hours left. So I think I'm just gonna keep on clearing away this area. This is like my like evening project um, with my last bits of energy so that it'll be ready for my chicken coop. That's it for the night. Let's go see Peaches. Oh, she's out here. Okay. You can, you can come in. She's also in here. Okay, she is a magical teleporting dog. That makes sense for this game. Cool, a little bit more money and a little bit more, and we leveled up foraging. It's finally gonna rain. <laughs> Amazing, it's gonna rain tomorrow, wonderful. Okay. I would love to buy that fishing pole, Willie. I will be down there soon for it. Hey, look, it's a parsnip. I can put it on that one weird plant I've been had here for many days was a parsnip. I can put it on the signs. Yay. Ha. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Parsnips. I have enough wood for one more tapper. So I think I'm gonna put it actually, um, hold on, let me put some more copper to cook. So I actually really like to put tappers um, 
on the trees out here because that way I can just check it on my way through town, like to town. And uh, I don't, oh, thanks for the acorn. <laughs> and then that way I also don't have to, you know, not cut down the trees on my property that I, when I, and I need to, you know, do stuff in the space. So it's fun to put them on some of the trees around town and stuff. Also, once I unlock the quarry, that's actually one of my main places to put tappers because there's a bunch of trees over there too. Ooh, Willie will give me $200 for catching a catfish. Hey guys, what are, what are we doing? It's Goth Corner again. Relatable. Well, we could really use $200 and we get to keep the catfish. So I think I might try that. So this is the spot that I caught a catfish last time. So I'm hoping maybe I can catch one here again. Smallmouth bass again. You do get a lot of that at this fishing spot. Um, but if you don't know all the different areas in Stardew, you get very different fish there, both seasonally and also at night. And there's like pond fish and lake fish and ocean fish. The, the fishing metagame in this game is, it's a lot. It's pretty complicated, honestly. There's nobody around right now, so I'm gonna rifle through the garbages. Well, no one's home. Okay, nothing there. Bummer. Whew, but at least nobody saw me. Well, even if we don't get the catfish, we're at least going to catch a lot of smallmouth bass. Drop the bass. Any, any Animal Crossing fans in the house? Ooh, a new fish and a gold one. All right. Do I need that for a bundle? Let me check. I think I do. Okay, pantry, fish tank. Is this a river fish? <gasps> I do! I need a sunfish. Oh, and a catfish. Yay, I caught a second sunfish. Hey guys, pardon me, just putting something in this chest that's randomly here. You keep having your conversation. I wonder what they're talking about. Probably video games. If I know these two. I feel like I could really see Sam being like into like Zelda. I feel that. I feel that for Sam. I think Sebastian plays Overwatch. Well, I have caught many fish so far, many of which will be very valuable and I'm very happy about it. But no catfish yet. No catfish yet. Oh no, I don't want to pass out in my yard again. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna make it. But do I have time to sell the fish? That's the question. It's 1.30. I'm gonna try. Ah, okay. Oh my god, I almost sold my salmon berries. I was so panicked. Okay. Hi, peaches. Whew. Weather report. Sunny tomorrow. Queen of sauce, radish salad, serve it on grainy bread with salt and pepper. It's kind of, it's kind of an odd, I wonder how that would be. It's a weird, it's like bruschetta, but with radishes. <gasps> is that, are those the strawberries? Are they actually here? Is this, is it, is it strawberry time? Or is this like, is this priest, are they? <gasps> yes! The strawberries are here! Oh my god! The strawberries are here! I love props, you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, yay! Our first strawberry harvest! Okay, so these ones, um, I'm totally gonna sell these because I want to try and use the money to buy a coop tomorrow. <gasps> And then the next ones I might hold back uh, so I can make them into like strawberry jam and strawberry wine eventually. Wait, are those? Are th oh, the kale's done too. Fabulous. Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, oh, 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 I gotta come back to get the kale. Let's put the strawberry on the sign. Yay. The strawberry's on the sign now. 
All right. Oh, the little strawberry farm in the rain. It's so cute. I love it. I love strawberry farms. This was a great idea. I'm very happy. I think this area might just be big enough for oh, the animals. So I'm probably going to have to cut more trees down, though. But... I kind of want to see if I can finish this catfish quest because I've like been trying for a minute and it's like also pretty profitable. So I'm going to try. I don't know. I'm going to give it a few more hours in game hours obviously, and see if I can catch a catfish before uh, Willie closes for the day. If I can't, then I'm just going to move on to getting the materials that I need to buy a coop tomorrow with the strawberry money. <gasps> a catfish! Oh my God, I didn't think I was gonna make it. Yes! Okay, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna run down and take this to Willie's before he closes. Yay! Oh my God, I was like, this close to giving up I was literally like I'm just gonna get one more fish and we'll see and then it was a catfish yay oh my god yay thank you Willie woo two hundred dollars and I get to keep the fish oh that's the one I need okay gotta get eighteen hundred dollars to get that that's the one I need Okay, Sebastian is just standing on the end of the dock, staring into space, like staring out at the ocean in the rain. That's like pretty goth. It's also a big mood. Like, I've done that. It's fun. I recommend it. Oh, I got a lost book. Yay. Now I got to go cut down a bunch of trees because I need to get uh, 300 wood by tomorrow if I want to get my coop built. I ate all my salmon berries. <laughs> I'm going to grab some of my fish from my chest out here, bring it back to the house to sell it. And uh, we're at 243 wood. I don't think we have any left at the house because I think I sold it. I mean, I think I all used all of it to make like aesthetic fences. That sounds like me. I think we can probably get the rest of the wood that we need tomorrow before Robin closes. Oh, let's see if we have any wood. Okay, we have 25 wood. That's not too bad. So we're at 268. Let me check my other chest from my clearing out area over here. Okay, there's no wood over there. So we're going to have to cut down a little bit more tomorrow, but that's cool. I think we'll be okay. I hope I have enough stone. I need a hundred stone. This, I, oh, uh oh. We're gonna also have to get some stone tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Oh boy. Good night, peaches. Ah, level four farming. Oh my God. Yes, we got the preserves jar. I hope I have enough stuff to make one because I really want to make one so I can like make strawberry jam. Okay, we'll see what it needs. Ooh, oh my God, I can make crab pots. Yay, that'll be fun. I really like crab pots. Yes to money. I like money. I like it. I like it a lot. Wait, I think I might even have enough not just to get... I think I might be able to get the backpack too. I think the backpack's 2,000. We'll see. Okay, that's really exciting. Um, but first, we're trying to get the chicken coop today. So, ooh, I got a new achievement. Greenhorn, $15,000, that's so fun. Ooh, the distance your bobber lands from dry land determines what kind of fish you'll hook. As well as the location, the season, the time of the day, and the weather, I was right, the rain does matter. What a wild game. So I'm gonna come back and water all this later because I'm really trying to get my chicken coop today and I am very short 
on the supplies that I need, but I still have time, of course, to say good morning to Peaches and put some water in her bowl. Because, of course I do. I have to do that, obviously. That's not in question. It's really the stone I'm worried about. I think maybe once I get all the trees, I might just go up to the mines. That's probably going to be the fastest way to get enough stone in time. Great. So we got enough wood. Yeah, I think I'm going to head up to the mines to get that stone so we can finish the chicken coop today. Oh, you know what? Before I go, I want to see what I need for a preserves jar. Oh, that's not too bad. 50 wood, 40 stone, and 8 coal. You know, we might even be able to pick that up at the mines. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot to bring snacks. Okay, back to the house. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go for these ones with the little indent on them. Are like, they give you double stone. So I'm just going to go for those and the really big ones because I'm going to be able to get this done fastest that way, I think. When I told Pink about my drama with trying having enough stuff to get the chicken coop today, they said to me, I know you, you'll be there by noon. And I was like, that's no, this is going to be so hard. It's 1120 and I have everything I need. Pink was right. They do know me. Ah, stop for leak. I can't, I can't stop myself. I can't stop foraging. They were exactly right. I am here. It is 1140. All right. We are building our first chicken coop. I'm so excited. Yes. Also, wow, this chicken coop is gorgeous. I love it. Okay. So I want to put it right here. Yeah. No, here. There we go. Perfect. Yay! Oh my god. Thank you so much, Robin. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go to Pierre's and see what the price of a backpack is. Because, oh my god, I would really like to get a bigger backpack. That would, like, make my day, guys. <laughs> Ooh, Meru wants a small mouth bass. I think I can probably do that. Yes! Yes! I'm finally getting a bigger backpack! Also, uh, I really like my headcan- I'm, I'm going with my headcanon that it's Versace and that's why it's $2,000. Thank you so much, Pierre! Oh my god. Should I buy some seeds too? Why not? I have $1,000 burning a hole in my pocket. Let's go. So I'm gonna buy potato seeds um, with my money. I got 23. Okay, cool. And we're going to go put these in the ground and harvest the rest of the strawberries. Yay. What a great day. Oh my God. Everything went so well. I Here I thought it wasn't going to work out. I was like, how am I going to get all of the, these materials? And then of course I got it done before noon. And I'm back at the farm by 1.30. <laughs> Amazing strawberries okay so these ones i'm not actually gonna sell yet i'm gonna hang on to these because i want to turn them into different things and i because i kind of also just like the idea of like having strawberries year round at strawberry farms you know what i mean because it's like i don't know it's strawberry farms like we should always have some kind of strawberry items available that's my feeling anyway so I'm going to hang on to these and make them into jam. I really like making preserves. I just think it's really fun. I've also made them in real life and it's actually also really fun. Boiling the jars is a lot, but it is actually a pretty fun thing to do. I think for convenience sake, I'm going to plant some potatoes in with these strawberries. Because also, I just really want to see the whole plot filled. I think that'll just be really, like, more aesthetic than having it, like, half full. What a cute little farm this is turning into. This is very relaxing, I say, as my energy dips ever further to into the red. I feel like this game tends to sort of, like, oscillate between like super relaxing and kind of surprisingly high stress at least the way that i play it yay it's all watered great 
great day already and it's only 7 p.m um i think i'm gonna go back to my fishing spot it's my new hangout zone you know i like to vibe with wait i'm sorry hold on what is that did you did you guys see that there's copper there's freaking copper on my farm what what hold on i'm cutting my way over there get out of my way i gotta get to the copper what what i was just like walking past it and then i was like what there's i did not know this was here this is so cool oh my god i've like never played the four corners farm before look at this you guys Oh my god, I'm so hyped. Um, okay, I gotta mine this. This is amazing. There's a bunch of stone. There's are these geodes? There's geodes and copper literally on my farm. Wow, I'm so happy. This is awesome. I was just like walking past that and I was like, is that copper? Why is there copper there? <laughs> this is so cool. And I also don't have to run home to put this copper away because I got the bigger backpack. Yes. Okay, now we're going to the fishing spot. Oh my God, amazing, so happy. That's so cool. I forgot my fishing rod, so I'm glad I noticed that before I left property rather than like at the fishing spot. Oh my God. I can be a little bit of a thembo sometimes. Hey, cool. Smallmouth bass. Oh, a gold one. Nice. Night fishing, fishing at night. Night fishing, fishing at night. I don't know. I make up little songs sometimes. It's... Okay, I'm going to use my big backpack from Versace um, to bring back a bunch of the stuff I've been storing down here because I didn't have enough room in my backpack <laughs> and uh, bring it back to my chest at home. Ooh, 77 sap, we're on our way to that sticky bundle. Oh, I love the little new parsnip patch. It's so cute. I really like how the farm is coming along. This is so fun. A small mouth bass. Okay, I need to save that for Meru and give that to her tomorrow. Catfish, a sunfish, and a shad. I need all of those for the community bundle. And I can sell the rest. Okay. Woo! Great day. What a great day. Okay. Good night, peaches. Oh, I thought we were over. But I leveled up and I get to choose. Okay. Animal products are worth 20% more or crops are worth 10% more. You know, I just got a coop. I think I'm going to go animal products. I'm going to go with that one. Cool. All right, everyone. That's it. That's the end of today's episode um i i had so much fun we finally got our strawberries strawberry farms is a reality uh we got a bunch more that we're gonna make into strawberry jam next time i got tappers and of course a chicken coop so next episode we're gonna have little chickadees running around the farm it's gonna be so cute oh my god um yeah i had a great time i hope you did too thanks for playing along with me friends see you next time Bye. 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 <laughs> See ya. Mm. I love strawberries. They're both delicious and aesthetic. Perfect.